paying no bills. No bills. I'm on government assistance. My son back there with his snacks. Government assistance. Three kids. So y'all mad because I'm a single mother with seven kids. I'm raising them by myself. Yes, I get child support. I get help from the government. I'm going to get all the help I need, baby. Food stamps, $3,000 a month. You hear me? What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of the ultimate foolery. You guys, y'all gotta see this. This young lady here has set our melanated sisters back probably 60, 65 years. Y'all can't y'all can't defend this one. Seven kids, seven baby daddies on social media bragging about getting 3000 in EBT. That's where we at. Sisters now are getting online, making videos on how proud they are to have a mess and getting paid for it. Basically, that's what it is. So... I'm not going to go too far. Some of you have seen the videos, but, you know, I got a little more into it. So let's go ahead and check this out, and we're going to talk about this thing. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share, and we're going to jump right into this thing. But let's talk about this, people. Let's talk. My sisters, what's going on, man? That's going on. Let's get it. Okay, you guys, yes. I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys, I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Is there a, a particular reason why she's emphasizing so much about having this child at 14? That means you was pregnant at 13, possibly. Um, I wouldn't be bragging on that. I wouldn't. And I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, 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 yes. We are so happy. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, like I said, it's going to be haters, you know, people going to be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments, but the day my kids are taken care of that all that matters. Okay. That's it. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about y'all peace. Okay. So a little backstory on Miss EBT right here. 33 year old single mother, seven kids by seven different dudes. She is on social media celebrating that she lived off the system, has lived off the system for 19 years because now that child she had at 14 is now 19. And she is proud to say she is working the system. She gets 3K in food stamps, or EBT, and um, she's throwing it in everybody's face. Now, I don't know who told this woman this was a flex but um this is what the problem is this is the problem this is why so many of our brothers are on um child support it's not because the dude can't take care of the child it's because the state gives them so much dudes break up with a chick on thursday by tuesday she told me i'm putting you on child support you hadn't even given him a month to even support the child. And you're already running up filing papers. This is why people. Because the state gives them so much. To sit on their ass. That they would just do this. Rather than co-parenting. And raise these kids. And get a job. That's the God honest truth. So the melanated sisters out here. When y'all talk about all y'all. Um, degrees. And working real estate. And I'm a nurse. This is. This is what's killing the culture here. That shit right there. That's what's, that's what's hurting us. They're 
millions of them sitting around on their butts for years spending up the taxpayers money 19 years she done sat on her butt now she's up here bragging about it but i know some y'all gonna defend her so whatever i'm gonna talk about it okay y'all just mad because i get three can food stamps so what i get all kind of snacks while I'm sitting here chilling or whatever, paying no bills, no bills. I'm on government assistance. My son back there with his snacks, government assistance, three careful. I want y'all to look at this right here. Look at their little ignorant EBT ass. Look at him. And look at the son. Celebrating with her. Little EBT baby. Go ahead. With your snacks. Your ass too old be sitting around talking about I'm, I'm eating my snacks. But one thing I did notice about them, nothing in that cart is healthy. Everything they buy, snacks, junk food, processed stuff. You get 3K in basically a food voucher, and you still go out and buy the worst in the damn grocery store. That tells you where the mentality is. Instead of getting quality food, you filling your buggy up with junk. I wouldn't doubt if you went outside selling the stuff. Probably got a whole room set up just to sell to the to the street. There's a lot of Karens on our page. We don't care about you Karens, okay? We don't care. We can care less. We're eating good. We're living good. We don't care about the Karens, okay? What you got to say, son? Now, like I said, we do not care about the Karens in the comments because what y'all saying negative about us, baby, we eating good over here. That freezer is full and that deep freezer is full, baby. So what you got to say? Y'all you, ain't got nothing else to say about what we got to do, what we living and how we living and how we doing it. Y'all mad and y'all depressed. Hey, bye. Misery loves company. And that's the end of that story. Misery loves company. We don't care about you Karens. You Karens can go somewhere else don't come on my page if you don't like what we post okay karen remove yourself politely block but you know people get jealous and all that you're right girl you're right i'm jealous and a little I, and i'm also angry let me tell you why because you know that money could have gone to my kids <laughs> But that's okay, you know. Uh, my husband and I, we work hard. So does the rest of the hardworking Americans that have jobs out there. And uh, we work, we pay taxes, and uh, we help support families, I guess, like yours mm. with seven kids. I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, so, yeah, what we what we dislike is the fact that you're out there on social media flaunting it around. Bless, bless, bless. How about be more humble and thankful about what you're receiving? You see, there's so many families out there that are working hard and barely making it and they don't qualify for EBT food stamps. Right. They don't. And they're having to wait in long lines at the food banks or going to their churches or the food pantries and hoping to get some food to help get them through the, through the next paycheck. So, yeah, it's hard to watch it on social media when it's like this. So, hey, again, you are welcome. Yeah, you're right. You're kids are taken care of because of the hardworking Americans out there that is working day in and day night paying taxes for this. And see, some of the mothers, it, like I said, she said it hurts her to see this. I'm working, me and my husband working our butts off and barely making it and you sitting on your butt and getting your rent paid, your utilities paid, and they giving you 3k to eat off. What is going on here? Man, I know y'all ain't embarrassing y'all self for the couple of cents on this damn app, man. I just saw a video where a, a lady is screaming in the camera uh, saying how she got seven children with seven different baby daddies, and she's saying how she received $3,000 worth of food stamps. First of all, I think uh, it's very embarrassing to come on and admit, but I mean, if it ain't no shame in your game, I guess, you know, you get your engagement the way you get your engagement, but eventually that's going to die out. Right. Like nobody's going to really give a damn about you having seven children no more. And I noticed a lot of her other videos are flopping because she making her whole niche about her uh, receiving food stamps and paying for shit with her food stamp card when we know that's not true. Now, you probably can go to a gas station and get a pizza and some wings and some pop <laughs> with a food stamp card, but you ain't going... I ain't never seen nobody buy no damn wings to go with no food stamp card. You, you're not going to make me believe that.
Hell, you get three thousand dollars in food stamps, start cooking some shit. Make right. a cooking channel. Damn. Then don't you think about the children's reputation at school? They gonna make a mockery out of them damn children. They gonna roast you as hard as hell. And them children gonna have to deal with bullying and harassment. Maybe if you had a different niche, you know, you could you could tell different things about yourself and you can get engagement, but just making it your whole thing is not a good it's not a good idea because people gonna watch you for a little while and then you're gonna be a one hit wonder. I know you got Medicaid. Get some damn therapy. Get you a journal. Stop oversharing all your damn business with the whole world. You ain't going to stay viral for very long, baby. This is going to be short-lived. And you done embarrassed yourself for a couple of dollars in front of everybody. That's why I, that's why I said if the right person, or some of you might be the wrong person, but if they get in office, the right person... They're going to stop that shit. They're going to stop. I'm telling you, it's a waste of taxpayer money. These are people that can go to work. These ain't disabled people. I can understand you need some help for a couple of years, maybe one or two years, get on your feet. 19 years? And she just keep having kids so she can stay on it? That's what that is, people. Seven kids. So she would be on the system probably until she almost dead. Just imagine her youngest growing up for the next 19 years after that. I mean, she'd be in her 50s, 60s. But it's another lady she upset too, and she's a school teacher, so let's okay. just hear her out. Y'all seen that lady that says she got seven kids and seven different baby daddies, and she get $3,000 in food stamps a month? I say we all stop working just so she can stop getting assistance. So y'all mad because I'm a single mother with seven kids? I'm raising them by myself. Yes, I get child support. I get help from the government. I'm going to get all the help I need, baby. Food stamps, $3,000 a month. You hear me? Y'all sisters, this is your fault. I'm going to blame you guys for this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. You guys make it so easy for these girls to behave this way. Because y'all don't want nobody to say anything about them. You don't want nobody to judge them. Don't uh, tone got to be correct to talk to you about something, and then you still get backlash from it. Then when they step out on their own and do all this ratchet crap, y'all sit back now. Y'all like this. I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Some of you don't know what to say. Like school teacher, why don't we just all just stop working? You know we can't stop working. That's the answer. Let's join the ratchet. Let's join the EBT crowd. That's the answer to this. Or some conversation on not abusing the system and raising your kids in the system so your kids don't come up and be crap. Look at her son, man. I couldn't tell if it was a girl or a boy sitting up there dancing like she was dancing. Just as fat as she is. What, what, what are you teaching him? How to get on the system? If he was a girl, he'd probably already be pregnant. Let's be real. One or two kids. Because that was she teaching them. And she probably got girls and she already probably done told them. Her, no shade at all. But why do y'all get on here and tell us y'all's business? Like, I'm happy that she got 7K in food stamps because maybe she do need it. No, what she need is what's called, um, what's that thing? Um, birth control. Yeah, yeah, that's what she need. She need also uh, uh, like a triple pack, 12 pack of uh, plan B pills that's what she need someone need to plug that hole up out here that is waiting on your downfall and they will be mad that you're getting seven grand and they're not and they have seven kids as well or three kids or whatever as well like people will call up to the government and complain about it like i just feel like some things like this should not be on the internet why did you want to tell everybody that you got 7k and food stamps please tell me quickly please <laughs> Like, I just, I don't get it. I just feel like certain things like that should not be on the internet. And I hope that she can understand this video. Like, I just, I don't understand. Like, why did you, like, your job, anything to do with the government? I don't think you should put that on TikTok. Like, you're about to get hell. You're about to get hell. Like, I pray that you don't, but you are. First, let's correct her. It's 3K, not 7K. And... Yeah, I would like to know why did you come on social media and brag and then talking about 
people in your business and worrying about it when you just brought all your business because I didn't know anything of you. And the, and the social media world didn't know anything of you for 19 years. Now you pop out and bragging about you getting all these resources and laughing in people's face. But you're going to mess up. I'm telling you because you're slipping. Especially if you're getting paid from this. If you're getting paid for these videos, IRS keep an eye on you. So look at this mess here. She's bragging about how she can go and with her 3K unlimited EBT card and load up that. But look at the food she's taking out of it. Load up. Happy. Now look at her. Then use her little unlimited EBT card to buy pizza. Little Caesar's pizza. They're still celebrating and throwing in y'all face. She even getting a, a dependent income tax return. What the H is going on out here? You don't work and you getting an income tax return? And I'm paying every year? You guys, I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Okay, okay. Enough. It's enough of this. Let's just. Enough is enough. I think she has made uh, a fool out of herself. And a lot of you sisters, because y'all stand together, your sisterhood, and y'all don't put people in check, you don't hold people accountable, and this is what happens. You get chicks like this pop out the damn woodwork and, and kind of shortchange all that hard work y'all done did out here claiming y'all out here leading all the men and the jobs and schools and all this, but y'all got a large majority sitting back doing this shit right here. Sitting on Section 8, working the system. And then y'all say, well, if I could, I would, I blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. That ain't gonna make it no better. This is why everybody look down on us because women pop out like this and make it think that all the women are sitting around doing this and y'all don't hold them accountable. Nobody report this. They report this girl going on there saying this. They ain't report it and stop it. Now, if a guy would have come on in and talk some crazy mess, y'all go and try to cancel them out. But nobody holds them accountable. She's sitting here for 19 years, sitting on her butt. Y'all out here getting all these degrees and be going to real estate school. I ain't hearing nobody say they're a realtor yet, but going to real estate school, becoming nurses. And then some of you staying on them CNA because, uh, oh, if I get that nursing degree, I might have to go get a real job and they're not going to give me all this. I'm going to have to pay for my own rent. So, guys, you never know. This is why they say they don't want no man paying 50-50. Majority of these women, they don't know nothing about paying all their bills. So to go 50-50 with me, oh, I got to pay something? Oh, no, 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 because I've been sitting on Section 8 for the last 12 years. I ain't paying these bills. I need somebody to come in and pay. This is why, guys. That's why cause I never understood why you wouldn't take somebody that's willing to pay, take care of half of your debt in your house versus you paying 100% of it. And you ladies tell me, I know I'd rather pay it myself. Then go right ahead because you're not paying it. The government's giving it to you. Guys, y'all got the wise up. This is why they want y'all because if you move in and marry them or whatever, you got to marry. If you marry her, she's coming off Section 8. So you're going to be at the foot in these bills with all these kids and everything else. She's not getting that free housing no more. You see what I'm saying? So that's why they want you to pay all the bills. Now y'all got it? All right. So that's my spill on this. I ain't going to give it too much. I'm going to get up out of here. I don't want to see no more of this ratchet crap. You guys figure it out yourselves. And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing with your ratchet asses. Peace.